Our space program has been stuck for 30 years. We simply just go around the planet Earth. It's just like Columbus exploring the new world for the first time and then spending the rest of his life simply puttering around the Spanish coastline. What's the problem? There's a dirty little four-letter word, and that is cost. It costs about $10,000 to put a pound of anything into orbit. Imagine John Glenn made out of solid gold. That's what it costs to put John Glenn or you into orbit. It would cost about $20 million for you to take a weekend trip up to the space station. It would cost about a half a billion dollars for you to go to the moon. And for you to go to Mars would probably cost tens of billions of dollars. One way to reduce the cost of reaching space would be to find a more efficient way to overcome Earth's gravity. Remember the story of Jack and the Beanstalk? Jack was the little boy who climbed the beanstalk into heaven. Well, imagine a space elevator such that you hit the up button and the elevator takes you into the heavens just like Jack and the Beanstalk. Instead of building from the ground up, the space elevator would be built from the top down. A satellite in geosynchronous orbit would drop a 60,000 mile cable back to Earth, where it would be anchored to the surface. Now we are within striking distance of being able to create fibers that can withstand the tension of traveling at enormous velocities in outer space as the space elevator rotates with the planet Earth. So it never falls because it rotates at the same rate as the planet Earth. The elevator's compartment would simply roll up the cable, shuttling travelers and supplies into orbit, where it would wait for a spacecraft. This system would entirely replace a conventional rocket launch. And that might reduce the cost of space travel by a factor of a thousand. Think about that. Then you begin to realize that perhaps a trip to outer space may be no worse than an airplane ticket. <laughs>